Hello, this is Rock99 and I'm going to be showing you how to make your own basic Trackmania mods. To start off, you want to open up your Trackmania United folder in your program files. Go to Game Data, Stadium, Media, Texture, and then just copy this image folder and put it somewhere that's just a bit more easier to find and go up a level again and you want to also copy this copy this moods folder and paste this here again you want to do this so you don't edit the actual files used for the game by mistake so once you've copied these across you can open your image folder and it shows all the different textures that are used for the for the basic for the default mod and I start off with one of the ones we're going to be editing today this is the texture for the um, track and the start line grid start line post just basic stuff you can normally tell by looking at it and this is the um, roadside border the black whatever you call it and it's the the line along the side of the road and I'm going to start off just by modding these two images in Photoshop so you just got to open it and find the two files just stadium road D and stadium road border D open both of those and choose convert images to 8 bit for both of them. And there you go, you got both of those open. And I'm just going to edit these in the same way I did the orange and black mod. So I'm going to start off just by making this road um, section a bit darker. like that and then to get rid of all the green and noise and stuff just remove all colour so it's black and white and it's still a bit um, no uh, freckly so I'll just smoothen it out a bit and there you go basically start of your mod get a dark road and the main thing you're going to be using for light changing colours and things for the mod is um, the hue which will change all colours um, with the selected area so just trying to get an orange but saturation up a bit so you can see it and there you go, it's not the best but I'm just doing this quickly so and on this road border one see how the green border and do the same with the hue again and about the same color there. and say I wanted to make this gray bit say blue or something and since it has no color in it just changing the hue won't do much if you look it sort of slightly changes go do this colorize one and then try and find the color put the saturation up a bit so you can see what you're doing and that helps quite a lot to make any non-colored things and give them a color So I'm just going to. Um, I'm also just going to edit the load screen, and that's quite a simple file. Open that, and with the load screen, the the image in the centre is the only bit shown. These two black stripes here aren't shown, and this middle bit is 1024 by 768. So I'm just going to put something on this. I'm 
Obviously, you can like you can swap the image around to do whatever you want. I'm just doing this to do it quickly. And so I've got three starting Im um, images for my mod, and I'm just gonna save all these under a mod folder. So I'll make a new folder a folder here for a new mod. Call it test mod. And uh, in this like folder, you, to, you can make you have to make a folder called image. And once you've done that, you can save the fo files you've made as DDS. And make sure it's on DXT5 and with generate mi maps on. And this is a 2D texture. So save that, and it'll take a while to save and then I'll just do it for these two as well save as, go to my image folder and just leave that the file names have to be left the same otherwise track menu won't recognize it save this last one So once you've done that, you can open, go to your the mod folder that you made with your the start of your new mod, and this image folder has the three files you saved. And once you've done that, get this image folder and add this to a zip folder. So send to compressed zip, and then just call it test one cut that and go into your trackmania folder under my documents go under skins stadium mod and just paste it here and paste the f your f file here Go to test one and then just make a copy of it again and call this version test two. So you've got two zip folders, of the same stuff called test one, test two. And then you have to restart Trackmania for it to recognize your mod files. And once you've done that, you can open up a track. and on selecting the mod choose either test 1 or test 2, doesn't really matter and you get your load screen and you're into the track and if you put the track down you can see the dark road they did and with the orange borders